In this video, I'll show you how to work with the log files for an individual ESXi host. So here you can see I am in my vSphere client, and in my cluster I have a few different ESXi hosts. And I can export my logs through this vSphere client. But the vSphere client is only going to be available if vCenter is up. So let's assume that vCenter is down and I need to export log files for this particular host. What I'll do is I will launch the host client instead of using the vSphere client because if vCenter is down, that means that the vSphere client is down. So here in the host client, I've clicked on host at the left and I can just simply click on actions and under actions, generate support bundle. So the only time you'd probably ever really do this is if VMware support asks you to do so. Here you can see down in the recent tasks screen that my log bundles are being generated. I would expect this to take approximately five minutes. And when it's done, a little window here will pop up allowing you to download the exported log bundles. So I'm just gonna pause my recording for a couple minutes while this log bundle export finishes. Okay, so now we can see that the support bundle has been completely created and I can just click on the download button here and download a copy of this support bundle to my local computer. And I'm just going to go ahead and click on that support bundle and open it up. And again, I'm using WinRAR to extract the contents of this file. And so let's take a moment to explore what is actually included in these log files. You'll notice that they are similar in format to the vCenter logs, if you've been looking at the vCenter log files as well. So in most cases, you probably won't be digging through these logs yourself. You'll just ship them off to VMware support and let them analyze the contents of those log files. 